In this video, I'm going to talk about the rules for hiring remote workers and or VAs, also known as virtual assistants for your home care agency. Hello, and my name is Scott McKenzie. I am the founder of a home care agency called Golden Age Companions based in Irvine, California. We've been in business since 2011 and have generated over $8 million of total revenue. I also have founded a company called Home Care Agency Blueprint, which is designed to help you start, scale, and grow your very own home care agency. So let's jump in here. So when it comes to hiring virtual assistants for your home care agency, there's a couple things to consider when thinking about that the first thing is kind of like the obvious is do you need this person and or employee va to be you know obviously local or coming in the office if they don't and they can work remote so think about any of the tasks that can be remote work can be outsourced and this doesn't have to mean they need to be out of the country. They don't need to be necessarily Philippines or Latin America. It could be outsourced to maybe a rural area in the U.S. that is less minimum wage and um, it's just more cost effective for your home care business. You know, I know I'm in a higher income area, so things are very expensive over where I live in Southern California. And it doesn't always make sense to hire somebody down the street here to do something that's on the computer that that person could be, you know, maybe in the Midwest or somewhere that it's just a lot less cost of living. So it's more efficient for your home care agency to hire someone that you can also provide a job to somebody that maybe is in an area where they, they don't get access to as, as many jobs. So that's how I like to look at this. Um, as far as some guidelines to hire now, First, I'll like kind of step back here. When you're looking to hire a remote worker, think about the things that are, can be done remote. And that could be any data entry, anything that's on the computer, uh, web browser, anything that is basically cloud-based. And, you know, you don't want to... I highly recommend to not have anything that is too sensitive of information. If there is, there's certain uh, platforms and companies that you can hire to hire your remote workers through them. So there's all that liability and risk management and insurances are built in there. So you're not liable if information um, goes astray type of thing. So it's important to um, think about the things that can be just simple email follow-ups, phone call follow-ups. You know, you can set up a VOIP phone number um, to basically have that remote worker have a local number and they can make those phone calls. At Home Care Agency Blueprint on my program, we help you design this for you and we can set all of this up to get you to hire some remote workers when you're ready to do that for your agency. Um, so yeah, one thing like here's just a few guidelines to consider. So communication, obviously you want to have like regular communication channels with your remote workers, whether this is video calls, instant messaging, you know, like iMessage or text, even, you know, doing like, I highly recommend doing like weekly uh, huddles, like just, you know, work meetings to make sure that you are keeping them in line and then they're on task as well. And then also setting up, you know, defining what their work hours are. are. So whatever time zone they're in, that's important is if, if, you know, you need them saying your time zone from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day, whatever their time zone is, as long as they can work basically within your time zone and be online, then then that will work. So just, you know, think about that when you're interviewing a remote worker. There's all kinds of productivity tools. Something that I love using is monday.com. That's a great project management tracking tool. So um, another platform in general is called Upwork. That's a remote work hiring platform and I've used them for all kinds of remote remote hiring. So um, the nice thing is too, they track everything in-house. Um, you hire the worker through their platform and the time records and everything are tracked and they and it even like takes like screenshots of 
the person as they're clocked in working for you. So you can go back and audit if you would like to see like it's like every 10 seconds or something that takes a screenshot. So they in fact need to be working on what you've asked them to work on. And that's just good for holding accountability. Task management, you know, that's, you know, just make sure that the tasks are tracked properly and that expectations are set up of exactly what they need to be doing. And I recommend giving a small task, something like, for example, say their follow up phone calls. So instead of giving them a whole list of all these calls to make, you know, get a script down, train them and even listen to their calls or do a few calls with them to really get them trained on how to handle the conversation. And then just give them like maybe 20 calls. And then in your VOIP system, you'll be able to go in and hear all those calls and then set up another meeting to re-listen to those calls and really hear how they're speaking to this demographic or whoever they're calling for you to make sure that things are being said the right way and that you can just adjust that. So, um, you know, that's just like really important to take the time to do that ahead of time. I know it's kind of like boring to have to deal with that, but when you get them trained well enough, then they can just kind of be automated and, and you'll see your business grow. Reporting documentation, that's, you know, like them submitting regular reports, um, you know, for milestones and whatnot. You know, setting KPIs, the key performance indicators, that's super important, making sure that you're um, having KPIs set up for like say monthly or even weekly, that goals that they need to hit uh, just to be sure that they're on track. And if they're not hitting the goals, either there's something that you need to adjust to make sure that you're communicating more clear or they need to make some adjustments on how they're handling their uh, daily tasks. Confidentially and security, I kind of went over that. Upwork already has a built-in um, system for that. So, and then there is a company called, uh, it just came to my mind, it's called Deal, D-E-E-L, and they are basically professionals in bringing on remote workers and helping you, um, or you can even bring in your own remote workers, put them on their platform and then they'll make sure all the compliance um, things are taken care of training support being sure that you have provide all the relevant tools and platforms software logins all that stuff i recommend any logins can go into a master google sheet so then you could track that and they could have access to it and you could update it as well and then just feedback and performance reviews be sure to provide feedback and give regular performance reviews to be sure they're on task and you know, for the most part, people want to do a really good job. So um, I'm the first to say this. I have kind of like failed at providing proper feedback sometimes or maybe not even having KPIs. And then I wonder months later why things the, the needle's not moving in in that department of my business or it's worse, getting worse in that department. And then I find out later the remote worker didn't really have much direction or and or employee in this case. but. Yeah, so that's essentially the rules for hiring remote workers. I got a request on doing this. Alrighty, so that is an overview on hiring remote workers for your home care agency. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you feel like you're getting value out of my videos, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more of these posts. And if you are interested in setting up a call with me, there's a link in my description below. And that is for my company home care agency blueprint. So it's a one on one consulting call and we can talk about you starting up your very own home care agency. So my team and I are standing by. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thanks again.